Greetings and salutations, I'm back to talking about episodes of the, sh the show Sliders. Two episodes in this case, Murder Most Foul and Slide Like an Egyptian. So let's look at Murder Most Foul first. In this episode, um, in a world where clerical workers are everywhere, Arturo is brainwashed into believing he is a great literary detective named Reginald Doyle. Uh, he's basically almost like Sherlock Holmes. Um, in a way, in then what ends up happening, he ends up having to solve a case in which a real group of murders are occurring, sort of like in the style of Jack the Ripper. And I gotta say, this episode was pretty good. I kind of, I'm, I'm a big fan of murder mysteries. But at the same time, like, it, like you have to feel like, say, okay, who is the murderer in the story? But at the same time, like, if you slowly pay attention, you can slowly figure it out. And that, like, you know, like, <coughs> I, I guess, like, say, if you, like, pay attention, like, say, who is the first person to talk about it and, like, who is the person most interested in trying to figure it out and at the same time like trying to get the bad guy and it seems yeah um oh and also like say everyone else like in that world like um they're basically actors almost trying to like say play a role and they take their roles very seriously yes they do and i gotta say i kind of like the idea of like you know a Sherlock Holmes meets Jack the Ripper. I wonder if that was ever an... I don't think that was ever a story. But then again, I would love to play my uh, Sherlock Holmes board game. That's a side tangent. Um, yeah, I think in this this idea was a pretty intriguing idea. To have, like, Archer pretend, like, you know, thinking he's a world's greatest detective. And, you know, like, they're trying to solve... A murder before they happen and at the same time i kind of i did like how all the costumings for it i'm a big fan of like you know like english victorian kind of costumes um in, in shows and films it's always kind of fun you know all the fluffiness and all the ruffles and all that i kind of find that's kind of fun but yeah i mean it's probably one pretty good there's honestly like if you've seen a, a murder mystery or a Mystery based thing. Do for love. Come on! No. No, 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 no. It's fairly similar to what you would normally get in that, you know, like, hey, if you know the idea of like a Jack the Ripper story, I do find it kind of in, kind of crazy how, like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Because he's a doctor, so he would know it would be the doctor. And whenever they do stories that are based around Dr. Rubber, it's always the doctor. Because, you know, they, I don't know, it's like, say it's that like, there's always like the little cruel is that he had a me he had a specific way he was doing it and all that. But let's look at the next episode called Slide Like an Egyptian. In this world, um, they end up falling in a world in which Alexander the Great didn't really throw, overthrow Egypt. So, in a way, Pharaoh's rule, uh, rule and Egypt never fell. So, much of the world is Egyptian colonies. So, sliding is allowed, but um, it's only for those that are just seem to have nobility and all that. And one of the biggest um, effects of this episode is that they have to run away from a giant scare of a beetle. And... My gosh. That effect is gosh darn goofy. <laughs> it is absolutely... T like, you can see, like, when the actors are, like, grabbed by it, it's like, saying, rawr, rawr. like, like, almost like they're on the back against the green screen. But at the same time, I kind of like it when TV shows... They say, okay, we're going to have an episode of this based around Egypt and all that. And, um, most like the moments when they are trying to, like, say, okay, when, uh, the, the experiment part of it, it almost reminds me of, uh, 
what was it, uh, what was that film where, um, when basically they, they um, uh, Flatliners, Bas basically they end up causing him to, hey, Felicio, got a match, well, I do, your face in my ass. Your breath fed a buffalo fart. Do I know you? You don't know jack shit. Burt White, needle dick, cock bite, jug off, limp wrist, coral hole, banana breath, shit burp. He dies and then they he sees the afterlife and then they say, Hey, we want you to tell you we want you to tell everything about your experience. Tell us about your experience. <coughs> but um they, at first, they say the slide. Uh, the first slide they have to do is ends up they have to wait for Quinn because um, they miss it because of the scared beetle. But eventually, they're able to get out of there. But I gotta say, this one was kind of exciting. It was fun. It was a, it was a very fun kind of episode. I liked it. But yeah. Oh, and this episode was also directed by Adam Nimoy. That's the that's the son of uh, Leonard Nimoy. If you need to know. Yeah. I wouldn't Adam he would also go like I wouldn't Adam he would also go like on to like later direct episodes of Star Trek as well too. At least I think he did. But yeah, I thought this one was pretty good. I approve Adam, you did a good job, buddy. Those effects still are hilarious though. But that's what I thought. See you next time.